Hello, everybody. It's so wonderful to see all of your beautiful faces here today. You know, uh, when I look out at this crowd, I see potential. I see strength. I see resilience. But most importantly, I see individuals who are worthy of love, respect, and genuine connection. And that's exactly what we're here to talk about today. Our topic is one that's close to my heart, and I believe it's something that every single one of us needs to hear. So lean in, because we're going to dive deep into this powerful message. Never force anyone to choose you. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but Oprah, what if I really want someone in my life? What if I'm afraid of being alone? I hear you. I've been there. We've all been there. That fear of rejection, that longing for connection, it's part of the human experience. But here's what I've learned and what I want to share with you today. Forcing someone to choose you is never the answer. Let me tell you a story. Years ago, when I was just starting out in television, I was so desperate to be liked, to be chosen. I would bend over backwards, change who I was just to fit in and be accepted. I thought that if I could just make people like me, everything would fall into place. But you know what? It didn't work. Not only did it not work, but it left me feeling empty, exhausted, and further from my true self than ever before. It wasn't until I learned to choose myself first that everything changed. And that's what I want for each and every one of you. I want you to choose yourself. I want you to recognize your own worth, your own value, independent of anyone else's validation or approval. You see, when we try to force someone to choose us, we're operating from a place of lack. We're saying to the universe, I'm not enough on my own. I need this person to complete me. But let me tell you something. You are already complete. You are already whole. You are already worthy of love and belonging exactly as you are. Now, I can see some of you shifting in your seats. Maybe you're thinking, but Oprah, I've been single for so long, or I've been passed over for promotions at work. I hear you. I see you. And I want you to know that your worth is not determined by your relationship status or your job title. Your worth is inherent. It's part of who you are. And nothing and no one can take that away from you. When we force someone to choose us, we're not giving them the opportunity to choose us authentically. We're not allowing them to see our true selves and make a genuine decision. Instead, we're presenting a version of ourselves that we think they want to see. But here's the truth. That version isn't sustainable. It isn't real. I want you to imagine for a moment what it would feel like to be chosen freely without any manipulation or coercion on your part. Imagine someone seeing you for exactly who you are, your strengths, your quirks, your vulnerabilities, and choosing you because of those things, not in spite of them. That's the kind of connection we all deserve. That's the kind of love that lasts. But here's the key. That kind of connection starts with you. It starts with choosing yourself first. It starts with recognizing your own value, with treating yourself with kindness and respect. Because when you truly value yourself, you don't need to force anyone else to do it for you. I remember a time in my life when I was in a relationship that wasn't serving me. I was holding on so tight, trying to make it work, trying to force this person to choose me every day. And you know what? It was exhausting. It was draining. It was taking away from my ability to show up fully in other areas of my life. It wasn't until I made the difficult decision to walk away, to choose myself, that I found true freedom. And let me tell you, that freedom was transformative. It allowed me to pour my energy into my work, into my friendships, into my personal growth. And you know what happened? The right people started showing up in my life. The right opportunities started coming my way. Because when you choose yourself, when you align with your own worth, you become a magnet for what's meant for you. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Oprah, what if I'm afraid of being alone? 
I want you to hear me when I say this. There is a big difference between being alone and being lonely. Being alone can be a beautiful, it's an opportunity to get to know yourself, to nurture your passions, to grow into the person you're meant to be. Loneliness, on the other hand, can happen even when we're surrounded by people. It happens when we're not being true to ourselves, when we're forcing connections that aren't authentic. So I encourage you to embrace your solitude. Vision is a time for self-discovery and self-love. Because when you're comfortable being alone, you'll never settle for relationships that don't serve you. Let's talk for a moment about self-worth. Your self-worth is not something that can be given to you by another person. It's not something that can be taken away by rejection or failure. Your self-worth is something that comes from within. It's a light that burns inside you. And it's your job to keep that light shining bright. How do we do that? Well, it starts with self-care. And I'm not just talking about bubble baths and face masks, although those can be lovely. I'm talking about the kind of self-care that nourishes your soul. It's about setting boundaries. It's about saying no to things that don't align with your values. It's about pursuing your passions and dreams, even when they scare you. When you prioritize your own well-being, when you honor your own needs and desires, you're sending a powerful message to yourself and to the world. You're saying, I am worthy of respect. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of good things. And when you truly believe that, you'll never feel the need to force anyone to choose you. Now let's address something that I know many of you struggle with, the fear of missing out. Maybe you're holding on to a relationship that's not serving you because you're afraid you won't find another. Maybe you're staying in a job that's draining you because you're afraid another opportunity won't come along. I want you to hear me when I say this. What is meant for you will not pass you by. When you release the need to control, when you stop trying to force outcomes, you open yourself up to possibilities beyond your wildest dreams. You create space for the universe to bring you what you truly need, not just what you think you want in the moment. I remember when I was deciding whether or not to end my talk show after 25 years, it was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. I was afraid of letting go of what might happen next. But deep down, I knew it was time. I knew I had to choose myself, my growth, my next chapter. And you know what? It was the best decision I could have made. It opened up new opportunities, new adventures, new ways for me to serve and grow. That's the power of choosing yourself of not forcing things that aren't meant to be. When you align with your true self, when you honor your own journey, the right doors open. The right people come into your life. The right opportunities present themselves. Now, I wanna talk about something that's crucial in this journey of self-love and authenticity, forgiveness. And I'm not just talking about forgiving others, although that's important too. I'm talking about forgiving yourself. Maybe you've spent years trying to force someone to choose you. Maybe you've compromised your values or changed who you are to fit someone else's mold. I want you to forgive yourself for that. Understand that you were doing the best you could with the knowledge and awareness you had at the time, but now you know better. And when you know better, you do better. Forgiveness is not about condoning past behavior. It's about freeing yourself from the weight of guilt and shame. It's about making space for new, healthier patterns to emerge. So right here, right now, I want you to place your hand on your heart and say, I forgive myself. I release the past. I choose myself from this moment forward. You'll feel that? That's the weight lifting off your shoulders. That's the beginning of true freedom. Now, let's talk about the power of your words and thoughts. You've heard me say it before. What you focus on expands. When you constantly think, why doesn't anyone choose me? What's wrong with me? You're reinforcing a negative self-image. You're telling the universe that you're not worthy of being chosen. Instead, I want you to flip the script. 
Start asking yourself, how can I choose myself today? How can I honor my worth? How can I attract relationships and opportunities that align with my true self? When you change your questions, you change your focus. And when you change your focus, you change your life. Remember, your thoughts create your reality. So choose thoughts that empower you, that remind you of your worth, that align with the life you want to create. Because here's the truth. You are creating your life every single day with every thought, every word, every action. Make sure you're creating a life that feels authentic to you, not one that's based on someone else's approval or validation. Now, I know this journey isn't always easy. There will be days when you doubt yourself, when the old patterns try to creep back in. That's okay, that's part of being human. The key is to recognize those moments for what they are, opportunities for growth, for recommitting to yourself. In those moments, I want you to remember this. You are not alone. Every single person in this room, every person watching or listening to this has felt the way you feel. We've all struggled with self-doubt. We've all tried to force connections that weren't meant to be. But we're here together choosing a different path. You know, one of the most powerful things we can do is to surround ourselves with people who lift us up, who see our worth, who encourage us to be our authentic selves. These are the people who will remind you of your value when you forget. They're the ones who will celebrate your decision to choose yourself, even when it's difficult. So I'd encourage you to look around your life. Are the people in your inner circle supporting your growth? Are they encouraging you to be your true self? If not, it might be time to make some changes. Remember, you have the power to curate your environment, to surround yourself with people who inspire you to be your best self. And here's something else I want you to remember. Your journey is your own. It's not about comparing yourself to others or trying to live up to someone else's expectations. It's about honoring your own path, your own timeline, your own growth. Maybe you see friends getting married while you're still single. Maybe you see colleagues getting promotions while you're still figuring out your career path. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparison, to feel like you're falling behind. But I want you to know this, there is no behind. There is only your path. And that path is perfect because it's yours. When you stop trying to force your life to look like someone else's, when you stop trying to meet arbitrary timelines or expectations, you free yourself to live authentically, you open yourself up to possibilities you might never have imagined. Now let's talk about vulnerability. When we're trying to force someone to choose us, we often put up walls. We hide our true selves, afraid that if people see who we really are, they won't like us. But here's the truth. Real connection, real love, real belonging. It all starts with vulnerability. Being vulnerable means showing up as your authentic self, even when it's scary. It means being honest about your feelings, your desires, your fears. It means taking risks, not knowing how they'll turn out. And yes, sometimes it means getting hurt. But it also means opening yourself up to deep, meaningful connections that can change your life. I've learned that the most powerful moments in life often come from being vulnerable. Whether it's sharing my own struggles on national television or having a heart-to-heart -heart with a friend, it's in those moments of openness and honesty that real growth and connection happen. So I encourage you to embrace vulnerability. Share your truth. Let people see the real you. Because here's the thing. When you're vulnerable, when you're authentic, you give others permission to do the same. You create a space for real, genuine connections to form. And isn't that what we all want? Not surface level relationships based on who we think we should be, but deep, meaningful connections based on who we truly are. Now, I wanna address something that I know many of you struggle with, the fear of rejection. When we try to force someone to choose us, it's often because we're afraid of being rejected if we show our true selves. But here's what I've learned. Rejection is not the worst thing that can happen to you. Living in an authentic life 
never allowing yourself to be truly seen. That's far worse than any rejection. Friction is not a reflection of your worth. It's simply a redirection. It's the universe's way of saying, this isn't the right fit. There's something better waiting for you. When you can view rejection in this way, it loses its power over you. It becomes an opportunity for growth, for self-reflection, for realigning with what truly matters to you. I've faced rejection many times in my life. There were people who said, Ed, I'd never make it in television. There were relationships that didn't work out. There were projects that failed. But each of those rejections led me to where I am today. They shaped me, strengthened me, and ultimately guided me toward my true path. So I encourage you to reframe rejection. See it as protection, as redirection, as an opportunity. Because when you're no longer afraid of rejection, you're free to be your authentic self. You're free to pursue your dreams without the need for anyone else's approval. Now let's talk about self-trust when we're constantly seeking validation from others, when we're trying to force people to choose us, what we're really saying is that we don't trust ourselves. We don't trust our own judgment, our own worth, our own ability to create a fulfilling life. But here's the truth. You are the expert on your own life. You know what feels right for you. You know what aligns with your values and your dreams. It's time to start trusting that inner wisdom. Self-trust is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Start by making small decisions based on what feels right to you, not what you think others expect. Listen to your intuition, honor your feelings. The more you do this, the more confident you'll become in your ability to navigate your life. And here's the beautiful thing. When you trust yourself, you stop needing others to validate your choices. You stop trying to force people to choose you because you've already chosen yourself. You become the author of your own story, the creator of your own happiness. Now, I want to talk about something that's crucial in this journey. Patience. In our fast-paced world, we often want things to happen immediately. We want instant relationships, instant success, instant happiness. But real growth, real change, it takes time. If you've spent years trying to force connections or seeking validation from others, it's going to take time to rewire those patterns. It's going to take practice to choose yourself consistently, to trust your own worth, to live authentically. And that's okay. Be patient with yourself. Celebrate small victories. Recognize that every step forward, no matter how small, is progress. Remember, this is your journey. It's not a race. There's no timeline you need to follow. Allow yourself the grace to grow at your own pace. Trust that as long as you're moving forward, as long as you're choosing yourself and honoring your truth, you're exactly where you need to be. Now, I want to share something with you that I believe with every fiber of my being, you are worthy of love. Not the kind of love that you have to beg for, not the kind of love that you have to change yourself to receive. You are worthy of a love that sees you, that celebrates you, that chooses you freely and joyfully. But here's the key. That love starts with you. It starts with how you treat yourself, how you speak to yourself, how you honor your own needs and desires. When you truly love yourself, you create a foundation for healthy, authentic relationships in all areas of your life. So I want you to make a commitment to yourself today. Commit to treating yourself with kindness and respect. Commit to honoring your boundaries. Commit to pursuing your passions and dreams. Commit to choosing yourself every single day. Because when you make that commitment, when you align with your own worth, you become a magnet for the right people and opportunities. You create a life that feels authentic and fulfilling. And most importantly, you free yourself from the need to force anyone to choose you as we come to the end of our time together, I want to leave you with this thought. You are enough. You are worthy. You are deserving of love and respect and all good things. Not because of what you do or what you achieve, but simply because you exist. You are a unique, beautiful expression of life itself. And that, my friends, 
is something to So go forth from here with your head held high. Choose yourself. Love yourself. Trust yourself. Be patient with yourself and watch as your life transforms in beautiful and unexpected ways. Remember, you have the power to create the life you want. You have the power to attract relationships and opportunities that align with your true self. You have the power to choose yourself every single day. And when you do that, when you stand firmly in your own worth, you'll find that you no longer need to force anyone to choose you. Instead, you'll attract people and opportunities that naturally align with your authentic self. As you leave here today, I want you to carry this message with you. Your worth is not determined by who chooses you, but by how you choose yourself. Every day, you have the opportunity to make choices that honor your true self, that align with your values, and that move you closer to your dreams. These choices might not always be easy, but they will always be worth it. Remember, this journey of self-love and authenticity is ongoing. There will be ups and downs, moments of doubt and moments of triumph. But through it all, know that you are not alone. You are part of a community of individuals who are choosing themselves, who are committed to living authentically, and who understand the power of self -love. So go forth with courage, with love, and with the unwavering belief in your own value. Choose yourself today and every day. And watch as the world responds to your authenticity, your strength, and your light. You are worthy. You are enough, and you have everything you need within you to create a life filled with genuine love, meaningful connections, and true fulfillment. Thank you, and may you always remember your inherent worth.